Currently, I work uh, for Interactive. So Interactive is into number of businesses. That, uh, we have got data centers in Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane. We also are into the hardware maintenance and into the managed service. So since last four years, we have operationalized the security operations center in Melbourne 24-7 and I was a part of the leadership team who did work with in terms of selection of the uh, tools and technologies and defining the process. And currently we are serving more than 20 customers having 24 seven eyes on class on their environment. And we also do some of the GRC work like risk and governance and security manager and service assessing uh, the cyber risk and the risk posture. And, and, and we have got a number of uh, professional services. And if I talk about uh, myself, as I said that I work as a cybersecurity architect. So in terms of selecting the tools, assessing the vendor tools, doing the proof of concept for the tools which, are you, which we use internally to provide uh, services, a SOC service, endpoint detection and response service, it'll be me working closely with the product manager, as well as when it comes to productization, I'll be working closely with the product managers and the sales team within uh, Interactive. So at Interactive, we have got a habit like we start with a stand-up. So within the stand-up, we'll have 15 to 20 minutes of a discussion around what is going on in the IT environment across the globe, any kind of uh, known threat intel feeds which we have got, any kind of high profile attacks going on. And also we talk about uh, <coughs> the incidents which are going on uh, within our security operation center. So that's how our day starts. And as I said that I'm not from the operational background, I am into the cyber architecturing. So then afterwards I'll be closely working with the product development team and also closely working with the sales, pre-sales team and customers. So my whole day works or goes with custom focus solutions and the new upcoming tools and technologies. So the best past day, uh, starting with the stand-up, uh, saying, hello, how are you? Just don't go into the technical nitty-gritty of incidents and all. It's all about asking people, are you doing all good? So that's the best part of everything. The other part is about, like, as we are in the cybersecurity, we are like a fifth different force. Right? So we are serving community, we are serving customer, and that's, a be that's the best thing what I like it, that we are just not going there to work and earn the money. Right? We are serving community, we are protecting them, we are protecting the data. That's the best part what I like. And if I say about the worst part, we don't know when the incidents are going to go. Right? So if I'm getting a call at midnight that something is going on, or if there is any zero day vulnerability, we just need to be agile, right, at any point of time. So 24-7, 365 days, we need to be alive. Uh, so my background is, uh, is uh, like, I did my engineering in uh, the <coughs> industrial product design. So I come from the industrial product design and, like, back in uh, 2000, where uh, internet was coming up and the whole... Uh, the hot mail bubble was going on in, in California, in the Silicon Valley, and I thought that, oh, let's, let's jump on and try to understand what exactly is the internet. So the internet fascinated me into jump into, and I started with CCNA networks. So I come from the network and security background. Uh, I basically, basically, I'm from India. I moved to Australia in 2010, and since last 2010, maybe in, <coughs> I worked with a number of organizations in the ISPs, in the government departments, and currently since last four, four years I am working in the cybersecurity. And what I am passionate about cybersecurity is all about people and process, and it's all about protecting. So we, I, I think that I'm, I'm into the defense force, right? So I never got a chance to work in Air Force or military, but currently I do think that I'm doing the same kind of job what they're doing. Uh, I think uh, if I talk about the resources, let, uh, the first thing what I'll say that do the networking. Right? Try to have a discussion with the people. Uh, try to go and uh, engage yourself in the meetup groups and ask the people what is going on in the industry. Because networking is the key in the industry. Once you do the networking, you will, get, you will have a view that what exactly you want to go. Because cybersecurity has go two different uh, wings. One, the hardcore technical, and the other is uh, risk and governance side. So the people who are from the audit background, uh, it's best to, for them to go 
in the risk and governance, but as, as they, they go outside and they do the networking, they will get an idea that what they should be doing it. So I will say that start with networking and then engage in the meetup groups and some of the groups from the uh, international accreditations like ISICA, IC Square, Crest, and then mm, you'll get an idea what's next for you. I'll say the whole cybersecurity analyst and the people who are protecting the community are my role models. My juniors are my role models. Cybersecurity currently, as you already know, that there is a lack of workforce. We are, we are looking for people, we are looking for smart people. And as I said, that my background was an industrial background, but I jumped into networks and security and now I'm in cybersecurity. So anybody who is smart and who wants to work, they can come jump in, learn, and can serve the community and serve the cybersecurity industry. But the main thing is starting, starting, just, just go and meet people and start talking.